move around. parapet walls great and just talking you're you're gonna have more information about things like estimating i'm assuming you're gonna know more about like estimating commercial jobs and flat roof stuff than i ever did because like i said i don't really have any technical knowledge i bs my way through everything when i came to estimate i'm like oh this makes sense this line item looks like it fits and it works it's great but when they there's those technical questions about i have a commercial flat roof like with parapet walls, I'm like, uh, I don't know. I'm like, I don't know. So stuff like that, that's where you're going to be able to get very detailed with kind of, because everybody can figure out the usual stuff, the architecturals, the three tabs, the metal roofs, right? This is stuff that right. where you've got that extra knowledge, this is really where you're going to be able to kind of show your value is with those specific instances. So just something else to cool. think about as you include, but yep, parapet walls, flat roofs, that's great. Um, multi-level roof, that's great with the normers, dormers, drop the mic, I like it. Beyond off sketching, two-story floor pan, multi-level roofs, one couple. Perfect. So that's Keep perfect. Deeper, right? Yeah. Deep and high. Deep and high, yeah. Ooh. Yep. Here's one Keep section high. though I would encourage you to create that's more like black and white that this is what this section is about. I would create a section for using, like using Xactimate to negotiate your supplemental items. And you already are touching on that a little bit because you talk about, right. remember when we talked about a few minutes ago, well, when the adjuster wants to pay for one paint coat of paint and they tell them that masking is included, we can show them where it's not. Okay. This is something that I think that that would be a huge selling point as a whole section in your program. And you could even Not just to. pick like the top 10 things that you know that you feel like most guys don't know and how to argue those. Like this is such a hot button item and it's dumb and everybody just always wants to argue about it though. Ridge and starter. Like we know it's not included or like high profile ridge, things like that, Elena, they're going to get just fired up about. Those are great. Um, like the masking and stuff that you talked about. That's a great example. Um, all sorts of things Pro like project manager supervision hours, how you can prove that that is not a cost of business. It's not included. Oh, oh my gosh. I have so many of these examples I can give you that these guys will love. All right. So here's another one. So talking about the regions or talking about the project manager supervision hours, the, the, when they get an objection for it, it's typically along the lines of, well, we're already paying for steep costs, right? Or two story costs which in the line item window, you and I both know that it says that it's to cover, it's basically to cover the loss of time and productivity because of steep precautions, but it doesn't explicitly say that it's covering supervision or anything else. And supervision is not a labor cost. So high charges for labor, the person who's doing the supervision hours is exclusively not performing labor, right? Right. But to help them use the language within Xactimate, that's going to be enormous for you for this program. These guys are just going to be like, yes, I want that. So having a whole <laughs> section about items like that, they're going to like drool over it. So I would, okay. I would recommend making a whole section and you can just even call you, the way that we talk about is, you know, using Xactimate language, um, in your adjuster negotiations or using it to, support your supplemental items or handle adjusters objections that's what it's going to be okay. about so cool. let's go you know we can cool. talk about creating a, a big list of what those items might be the most common ones that they run into but also generally speaking just showing them like where to look because i go through this all the time with these guys i'm like guys if you're arguing about this item just click detailed line item window like it'll tell you word for word what is and isn't in there but just create like a basic lesson that's like, hey guys, generally speaking, if a matter comes into question about a specific line item, all you have to do, if, if the adjuster is saying that it includes X and you can open this window here, here's how you do it. And you find that it doesn't include X and it talks about what's included and excluded on a lot of items, right? This is how you would do that. And then go, by the way, here are my top 10 favorite items or my top 10 or my top 15, you know, sought after items that people get hung up on and how to overcome those objections. That's going to be huge because cool. that's what takes this program that seems very technical into very 
like not just technical training where somebody would go, well, I know how to use Xactimate. I can do a basic sketch to where they can go, right. well, maybe I learned some more stuff about Xactimate, but also I'm going to be able to use this to help me figure out how to actually argue with these adjusters over these things that I'm constantly getting stuck on. Right? Right. Yeah. So because people want to pay for the stuff that they can't figure out on their own. And people feel like they could maybe figure out Xactimate on their own. And honestly, most people do. But mm -hmm. they don't master Xactimate on their own. Also, it's very difficult to figure out on your own how to deal with 30 different insurance companies that are giving you 150 different objections on right. 2,000 different line items that they deal with, right? Yep. So that's something that's going to be just, I'm telling you right now, people will buy it if that would be one lesson alone that people be like for the whole, whole program, that one lesson alone would be worth it.